Hey guys, Last Wanderer here, and while working on my Piglin bartering machine, I needed a new item sorter, so I made one. Now, unlike other item sorters, this item sorter allows the input of water streams from two sides. So essentially, this is a new double-sided item sorter. Now, this new filter design is pretty similar to older designs, as a redstone torch blocks a hopper, which is underneath a filter hopper. And when that hopper gets enough items, this comparator will increase its signal strength, and allow this torch to turn off, which allows items to flow through into the chest. It then resets, the torch turns back on, and it awaits new items. The difference is, though, this one needed a new 1.16 mechanics, more specifically the target block, in order to allow for a second stream of items. Now let me show you over here. This target block can redirect redstone dust and power block on it, such as the redstone torch in this main design. This item filter would not be tileable without the new target block. Now, a similar design was possible before, however, it would have been two game takes slower because it would have required a redstone repeater here and another repeater here. The use of this comparator, which detects a signal strength of 1, outputs a signal strength of 1, which is only enough to power that target block, and turns off the redstone torch. The only reason this is possible is due to the target block's new redirecting redstone mechanic. Now, what are the uses of this new item filter? Well, for one thing, you could take out this whole item stream right here and just have a single stream of items, but this time coming from the side with a comparator. I'm not sure how that could be useful, but I'm sure in some instances it would be. But you could also have two different item streams, as you can see over here. The use of two different item streams will keep the items separate from both streams, except for the items that can get filtered away. As I'll show you with this setup, we have a bunch of empty chests here, and then this chest with a bunch of items that can be sorted, and one that can't. If I pick up this chest, and dump it in this stream, all the items will be sorted away from the three to the item sorters, with exception to that one item. I can do the same over here, and likewise, all the items will get sorted, with exception to that one item. Now, obviously this setup can keep any number of items separated, and will filter away all the items that can be filtered from both sides. But, I don't really see this design being too useful. However, this one over here is a lot more useful. This sorter here allows items to be continuously cycled around until the sorters have room to pick them up. So for instance, if you have a mob farm or any other type of farm that dumps a huge number of items at a single time, and then has periods where no items are flowing through the stream, this is useful, since the items will be able to be picked up on this side of the stream, and this side of the stream by the same sorter. Again, we have a similar setup, a bunch of empty chests, and then this chest filled with dummy items here. All these items are in the sorter, and if I pick up this chest, I can drop it right in, and obviously, the sorters won't be able to pick up all the items at once. But, these items will continuously flow around both sides of the sorter until they eventually can all be picked up. And as you can see, in the end, all the items get sorted away. So yeah, in the end, I can definitely see this design being used for mob farms and for certain farms that harvest on an interval. Just a couple of final notes, these blocks here don't all have to be blue ice or packed ice. Obviously, this one needs to be some form of ice, blue ice or packed ice, and it has to be those two not regular ice since the comparator needs to be able to detect the hopper through it. They could be other solid blocks. I just chose blue ice because it was nice for demonstration. But if you were to choose to build this in the nether, you would need the blue ice, along with slime and honey block pushers. Also, don't let anything shoot the sword, because although this won't break the sword immediately, only three items will escape at each time, if you get enough shots on the target block, it will eventually break. But again, you need a lot of shots to break this filter. 
So, I hope you found this new sword of design interesting and useful. Obviously, I won't have a tutorial because it's this simple to me. If you're curious, these are all Runian filter items, so nothing will break this order. And yeah, that's pretty much it.